What don't people know about the war in Afghanistan that would absolutely blow their minds if they did? I don't think the American people understood really how under-resourced uh, our troops were that were over there. In first deployment, we had one platoon minus, which is roughly just under 20 soldiers, to secure a province of 300,000 people. Our troops were asked to do the impossible. They were not resourced, they were not staffed, they were put at risk by the lack of resources, by the whole politicization of troop numbers. We were always put at risk and we were spread so thin that it was impossible to do a, a successful counterinsurgency operation, which is why the Taliban kept gaining strength each year while we were there. And the fact that we pursued a flawed political strategy with the bond agreement and the creation of a strong unitary state in Afghanistan, a strong centralized government in Kabul, which is completely antithetical to Afghan history of successful governance models, which are more localized. Local tribes empowered, and all the central government does is help keep negotiate peace between tribes and represent them internationally. That would have been the better model to empower locals. It's not the perfect solution that we would expect from a modern form of governance, but it was a stable solution. Most people are the same, that we all aspire to have family and to have peace and prosperity. It's Maslow's hierarchy of needs. It, it is true uh, from a psychological perspective. Most people just want to be safe secure and be able to pursue economic prosperity and take care of their families. I don't care what religion, race, etc. And we have friends in Afghanistan and we should not forget them. My experience in Afghanistan, that is what shaped me the most out of any work experience for understanding how things truly work. I don't believe our leadership, our political system and structure is up to the task anymore. I really don't. And that's frightening for me.